Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Kurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and today we are going to learn about buffer functions for spatial analysis. Buffer function was first introduced in Tableau version 2020.1 which allows us to draw a circle with a radius around a spatial point which then can be visualized in Tableau. So as you can see in this dashboard, I'm trying to show all the pubs located in London around a particular hotel. So we can select any hotel by the filter dropdown. And once we select that one, this basically circle represents a uh, area around a particular hotel. So I can increase or decrease the radius of this circle, which represents a buffer area. So I can reduce the radius to 500 meters in this case i'm using meters so based on your requirement you can do it in miles or kilometer so what i'm trying to show here is around each individual hotel how many pubs are located so if i change a particular hotel you can see here there are two pubs located within that 500 meter radius and you can see one is gordon wine bar which is 337 meters away from that hotel same way you can see here the hop pub is 304 meters away from this particular hotel. So how we can achieve this? So for this, first of all, I will show you the data set I'm using here. So this is the combination of hotel as well as the pub data. So we have the hotel name on this side, location type, these are hotel and at the bottom it's pub. And this is just the name of all these hotel and pub together, their neighborhood. We don't need most of the fields here. But the main field which we need is latitude and longitudes. So these are the fields for all these hotels and pub together. And then I have splitted the longitude and latitude for hotels separately. And the same way I have done it for pubs for longitude and latitude. So let's get started. Let's open a blank workbook. And I have already connected to the data set which I just showed you. So first of all, what we need here is to create a, we, we start with latitude and longitude. So we will just bring it in and you will see the latitude and longitudes are shown here. It's showing as an average. We change it into dimension first of all. And once we change it into dimension, you can see all these points are plotted on the map. Then what we need is to create a parameter. So in this case, we need to create a parameter for hotel. And in this case, I will use it as a string. And I will need a list. And I will add a value from hotel name. So it will give me the list of all the hotel names. Click OK. And same way, I will create a radius parameter which i just copied it from the existing workbook to save time so if i show you this parameter this is nothing but a float data type with a current value of 500 and we are showing the range from 100 meters to 1000 meters so you can adjust the values the way you need it so in this case these are all from 500 to 1000 with a million value of 100 at an increment of 100 so click OK. Then we need to create a calculated field. So I will just copy the fields from my previous workbook and I will show you all the calculations which we need. So first of all, we will need a calculation for selected point. So selected point is here. So when I edit it, we are trying to use the make point spatial function, which I am saying if the hotel value in this case which is the parameter we have created if that hotel value is equal to the hotel name which is already in the data set then give me the hotel latitude and otherwise give me uh, hotel longitude right and i have used minimum in this case just because it is an aggregated value we need to show here so you can use any other value as well or average or some it won't matter so basically make point function is a spatial function which 
helps to create a coordinate of a point using the latitude and longitude. In this case, we are using hotel latitude and hotel longitude for the selection of the hotel in this case. And then we have a hotel buffer calculation. So this buffer calculation is nothing but we are creating a circle with a radius around the selected point. So in this case, our selected point is the hotel which we selected and the radius is just the parameter which we used in this case and we are using meters in this case so as you can see in the help of this particular function you can use it the radius in kilometers or in miles or any other distance units in this case so i will click ok and i will first of all bring the hotel name into the labels and you can see these are the hotel names and the others are the pubs so we'll start with hotel name and i will bring buffer calculation in here and it will look something like this i will show the hotel name as a parameter here so you can select any which is fine and i will change it into map so you can see here, based on the selection, you can see different hotel is selected, right? And I will change the color to, let's say, gray. And I will reduce the opaque city. And I will select the map here. So you can select any map. So let's, let's start with street map. And it will look something like this. And, yep. So that makes sense. Now I will simply drag latitude by pressing control and create another green pill and i will create a dual axis and in the latitude i will use a distance feed so i want to show the distance between the selected point and pub point so pub point is nothing but the coordinates of each and individual pubs and i'm saying minimum distance between selected point which is the hotel point coordinates for hotel and the pub coordinates and show me the minimum distance in meters so this one i will bring it into the color shell and i will bring the same distance measure into the size shell and you can see these small sizes are there so i will just change the background map so it can give us more clarity and then i will bring the pub points into the tail tab and also the pub name into the detail tab, detail mark. And then I will change the map layer. In this case, you can use your own map if you have. And I will use new map, which I have downloaded from Mapbox. So it's nothing but I am using Mapbox Studio. And there I have already created a monochrome style which is in dark shade. So once I go and share that one, so we will go to developer resource, click on third party and select Tableau. And then I just need to copy the integration here. Once I have done that, I will go here, add the map box URL in here, and you can give any name you want. So monochrome dark shade for this one. I will click OK and close it and you can see it started appearing here and with the size I can increase a little bit and I will change it into circles and here you can see it shows the buffer spatial area around a particular point in this case for an hotel and if I change the hotel you can see all these points are displayed here you can increase the size by showing the radius. So if I want to increase the size here, you can see. And I change the hotel, let's say, to Marriott. And you can see there are two of these uh, pubs which are within the radius of 600 meter, 700 meters next to the hotel. That's how we use spatial calculation. And I hope you like this session and can use this particular feature in your dashboards if you have any questions please feel free to reach out or drop me a comment in the section below and i will get back to you thank you